Welcome back to my channel. So today we continue part 2 for 6.2 total internal reflection. So in this topic, I will discuss about natural phenomena, the application and some of the problem solving questions. So look at the natural phenomena that occur around us. For example, formation of rainbow. So formation of rainbow is a phenomenon caused by refraction, dispersion and total internal reflection. When light passes through water droplets in the air. So you can see how the light ray from the sun, which is white light, then reach here. When reach here, the light experiences refraction and dispersion. So it will be refracted to a different angle. Because different angle, uh, for different colors of light, it will refract to different angle. So light ray is white light. It consists of seven colors. Okay, red, orange, green, blue, blue, indigo, and violet. Okay. So then, when reach to all these different colors experiences total internal reflection on the surface of water droplets. Here, you can see total internal reflection. And then when reach here, three light rays reflected experience refraction and dispersion again when moving from water to air. So here is the total internal reflection. And when reach part three again, it will experience refraction. So different color refract to different angle. So you can see now the color will be spread out uh, into uh, seven colors. So that's how you can see uh, the beautiful rainbow that form due to the phenomenon of refraction, dispersion, and total internal reflection. Second is mirage. Okay. On a hot day and bright day, a car driver sees a blurry image of puddle of water on the surface of the road ahead. So when you are in the, in the car, sometimes you can see something like there's a water on the road. But when you reach that point, there's nothing there. It's like an optic illusion. So what caused this situation? So when he gets nearer to the puddle of water, he discovers that the puddle does not actually exist. So this uh, natural phenomenon is known as mirage which is caused by a refraction and total internal reflection. So you can uh, look at this diagram, especially eh, during hot day. So during hot day, the road is hotter than the layers of air above. Okay, so you can hear the, the air will be divided to a few layers of air. The above one will be denser, which is cool. And then go to the bottom, close to the road, it becomes hotter, so it becomes less dense. So what happened here? Layers of air above the road have different optical densities. So the layer of air just above the road surface is hotter than upper layer. So the layer of hot air is smaller density than the cold air. So you can see a different density of layers of air. So when light travel from different density of air, of course, it will experience refraction. So you can see light from the cloud here. It travel from denser to less dense, so you can draw a normal line here. And then the light ray refract away from normal. Again, when we reach this boundary, it experiences again the refraction refract away from normal. Okay, so you can see when refract away, until the angle I eh, become greater than the critical angle. When the angle I greater than critical angle, what happened to the light ray, it will experience total internal reflection here. When total internal reflection, it will travel back up okay, to the same medium. So you can see the number 3 here. So number 3 here means the light ray already experienced total internal reflections. So when the light ray gets into the observer's eye, our line of vision is always straight line. So we observe an image form on the road along our line of vision. So because of the light, the light ray coming from the moving object like cloud here, so it gave the effect like there's a water on the road. Okay, so this phenomenon we call it mirage or mirage. 
that occur due to the phenomena of refraction here and total internal reflection. Okay. Application. So we can discuss about the prism periscope. We can have a mirror periscope. For the mirror, if we use mirror, it just occur reflection. For mirror, it will absorb a quite large amount of the light energy. Thus, it will produce a very blur image. There's advantage of using prism because prism will produce total internal reflection. So total internal reflection means uh, we can say nearly total of the light ray will be reflected. So intensity yeah, of light will cause the brighter image to form. So prism periscope is used to what? To observe an object behind an obstacle or barrier. It made up of two right angle prism, 45 degrees prism, fitted at both ends of long tube. Okay, so light rays from the object travel along the normal to the side AB of the upper prism. The light ray reach side AC without refraction. So you can see light travel in a straight line here. Okay, because uh, it incident along the normal line. Eh? I equals to zero, R also zero. That's why it becomes straight here. No refraction. So when reach here, you can draw a normal line here. Okay, so angle I here is greater than the critical angle of glass prism. Normally, glass prism is about 42 degrees, eh, the critical angle. So angle I equals to 45 will be greater than critical angle. Same thing here. So meaning all the light ray which is incident along the normal line, it will be reflected because I is more than critical angle. Okay, so total internal reflection occur here and here. There's a light ray that reflected. Eh? We go to the next uh, prism. The same thing The same thing happened here. You can draw a normal line. Angle I equals to 45. Here also angle I equals to 45 means greater than critical angle. Thus totally reflected. Okay, so when gets into the observer's eye, the observer will observe the image which is Okay, virtual, upright, and same size. Okay, so you can see a brighter image will be formed when we use glass prism due to total internal reflection. Okay, this is optical fiber. Optical fiber is made of two layers, inner core and outer cladding. The inner core is denser than the outer cladding. Okay, it can be made from pure glass or flat plastic fibers. Huh? So inner core, high refractive index or denser, uh, surrounded by layer of cladding with low refractive index or less dense. So light signal enter one end of the optic fiber and experience total internal reflection continuously in the inner core until they reach the other end. As such, signal can be sent rapidly without disturbances from electric signal. So you can see here the light ray gets into the inner core and then angle here I is greater than the critical angle, total internal reflection. Again, total internal reflection. So there's a continuous uh, total internal reflection occur. Okay. So the uses of this uh, optical fiber can be used in the medical side. For example, doctors use endoscope eh, to examine internal organs eh, by using optical fibers. Engineers use fiber optic to examine the interior of complex machines. Communication experts use fiber optics for sending data speedily. So this one, when we talk about total internal reflection for telecommunication, so there is no loss of signal. So the image form will be brighter or the signal received will be maximum. Okay, that's the advantage of optical fiber. So this one is cat's eye reflected, reflector, sorry, cat's eye reflector. So you can see uh, on the road, eh, especially the area with less accommodation, normally there's no street lamp. So as a safety, normally there's a cat's eye eh, on the road. You can see on the road there. So during night time, due to reflection, the driver can see uh, the road clearly. So this one is for safety. 
okay because not all area will have uh, these street lamps eh, because of less accommodation okay so cat's eye reflector used for purpose of safety of road users at night light rays from car headlights enters the reflector and experience total internal reflection on the back surface of the reflector so meaning the light coming from the car when hit the uh, the reflector it bounces back and returns eh, to the driver so the driver can see something on the road so you can see the track okay uh, of the road easily at night okay let's discuss about some of the problems uh, involving total internal reflection so example one figure 6.25 shows light ray traveling from air to prism with refractive index of 1.49 okay this is a 45 degrees uh, uh, prism calculate critical angle of prism complete the path of light ray until it exits the prism okay so to relate between the refractive index given and critical angle we have this formula n equals to 1 over sine c or sine c equals to 1 over n so you just substitute the value of n here and then uh, use calculator to find the value of c uh, angle so we get 42.2 degrees so critical angle of prism is 42.2 degrees so p we want to complete the ray diagram so ray diagram uh this one uh, for this one this part okay so you can see you can draw a normal line here so you can see angle i equals to zero meaning r zero no refraction so you can see it travel in a straight line okay so when hit the surface you just can calculate what is angle i so angle i here is 45 degrees so angle i 45 degrees is greater than critical angle which is only 42.2 so total internal reflection occur here so you draw i equals to r i 45 meaning r also 45 so we reach this point again so again i equals to r i equals to 45 so when i equals to 45 greater than critical angle again total internal reflection and come out here also straight line because along the normal line so this is the ray diagram eh, to uh, light ray uh, path of light ray eh, uh, for this uh, situation given Okay, second example, figure 6.27 shows path of light ray traveling through optical fiber from A to B. Eh? A explain the change in direction of light ray uh, at points Q, R, S, T, U. So at point Q here, refracted light bends towards normal because from air to glass, eh? this is not yet total internal reflection. So refract towards normal. At point R, S, T, total internal reflection occur. At point U, coming out from the glass to air, so refract away from normal. Okay. B, if the refractive index of the optical fiber is 1.51, determine the value of angle X. Okay. This is a uh, angle of refraction. So we can use the formula N1 sine theta 1 equals to N2 sine theta 2. Okay, so let's say N1 is air, N2 is glass, uh, the inner core. So N1 is equals to 1, sine theta 1 is 45. Huh? Theta 1 is 45 degrees. And then N2, the refractive index is 1.51, sine x. So you can find sine x equals to 0 0.468, thus you get x 27.9 degrees. C, why must material optical fibers be of high optical purity? High purity material allows the critical angle along the op fiber optic to be consistent. All signals which enter the fiber will experience total internal reflection. So that we have a, a, a constant value of critical angle eh? because uh, for high purity, of course, it will ha have a a uh, one uh, density eh, which is always constant at all points okay okay let's discuss about formative practice 6.2 you can try first eh, this act practice then you can check the answer okay number one figure point six to eight shows the path of light which travel from air to prism so determine angle of refraction of light ray in the prism refractive index of prism is 1.5 where the light ray experience total internal reflection at the side AB of the prism will exp 
explain your answer. Okay, A, we want to determine uh, refractive index, uh, no, determine the angle of refraction, angle of refraction here. So we can use the formula from the Snell's law, refractive index of the glass prism is 1.8 equals to sine in A, 45, divided by sine R. Here is sine R, huh? So we get the angle of refraction equals to 23 degrees. So here is 23. Okay. B. Will the light ray experience total internal reflection at side AB? We need to check the critical angle of the prism. So you calculate the critical angle of prism using the formula N equals 1 over sine C. So from here I get C equals to 33.7 degrees. Now you calculate for angle theta. We want to make sure does this light ray will experience total internal reflection or refract out here. So we calculate for angle theta, this angle. Okay, just now we have discussed uh, angle of refraction here is 23. Total angle here is 90, meaning here is 67. Okay, so here is 67. This angle is 45. Okay, 45, 67. Thus, we get this angle is, okay, 60. Okay, so we get here is 60, yeah, because uh, uh, you can just total up 45, 45, 67. Sorry, angle here is about 68. Eh? It's just wrongly typed here. So here is 68, meaning this angle is 22. Okay, this angle is 22. Okay. So you can just uh, calculate again eh, for this one. So it should be, uh, I cannot get 30, but the value is lower. Eh? 90 minus this angle, eh? this angle. So we get the value is smaller than critical angle. So when that value is smaller than critical angle, meaning angle of refraction does not exceed the critical angle of prism, the total internal refraction does not occur. Okay, so no uh, total internal refraction, meaning the light ray when reach this point, it will be refracted away from normal. Okay, number two. Figure 6.29 shows fine optical fiber made up of inner core which has a high refractive index surrounded by cladding material of low refractive index, inner core and outer core. Determine critical angle of optical fiber. What is advantage of fine optical fiber? So use the Snell's law, N2 over N1 equals to sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2. So if we find sine C equals to 0 0.7778, then C we get 51.06 degrees. Okay. So find optical fiber able to insert to uh, small parts and easily bend uh, to reach all area. That's the advantage of fine optical fiber. So I think that's all for this topic 6.2. So you need uh, you can observe more. Uh, uh, on this application uh, of total internet reflection in the internet. So don't forget to subscribe. Yeah? Bye.